Hello and welcome to today's Exploring Nature with Children video all about lichen. We've got some big discussion questions, things to find when out and about on your walk and some fun crafts for you to do at home. I'm Samantha from Twinkle and I'm really excited to be doing the Exploring Nature with Children curriculum with you and going through some really fun activities you can do with your kids. So let's get started and see if we can find any like it. So you might have noticed we've come to a churchyard today to see if we can find our lichen because lichen grows really, really slowly. And so old gravestones are often covered in it because they've been left alone for so long. That's our first big discussion question. It's can you think of when slower is being an advantage? We live in a world full of going fast, full of fast food, social media, full of fast food. Are there any times when going slowly is better? Have a think about that, maybe discuss it while you're out and about on your walk. Now we're going around the churchyard, it's quite hard to stop finding lichen everywhere I look. Did you know lichen is actually not one organism, but made of two organisms, fungus and algae, that work together in a symbiotic relationship? Symbiotic means they work to help each other, a bit like a little team. The fungus provides a shelter in which the algae can grow, and the algae does photosynthesis to provide food for the fungus. So it's a really clever little relationship the two organisms have together. Our second big discussion question, which you could think about again while you're out on your walk, is can you think of any more symbiotic relationships in nature or even in your own life where two people might work together for a shared good outcome? Lichen is great to look for, either outside in the town or in the countryside, because you can literally find it everywhere. I've got a three, two, one challenge for you. So see if you can find three different colours of lichen. And how specific can you be with naming those colours? Not just yellow or green, but maybe sunset yellow or bright green. See if you can be really exact with the colours you're using describing the lichen. These twinkle sheets might help with that. Two, can you find two different objects diff from different ages based on the lichen on them? Such as an old object covered in lichen and a new object that doesn't have very much on it. And can you find one lichen that you can name? Don't forget we've got some handy spotter guys from Twinkle to help with that. just literally in the churchyard wandering around looking for lichen and it's amazing. There is it all over the place and it's really quite fascinating. I didn't think um, there'd be so many different colours, I didn't think there'd be so many shapes and sizes and the fact it takes so long to grow just means the big stuff is really really old um, and it's all over the place and it's all sorts of different places as well actually. So um, we're just going to keep exploring. While you're out and about looking for lichen, don't forget to draw some or maybe take some photographs so that you can take some home and then use for our arts and crafts activity. To try and just show how amazing lichen is, rather than this thing we just walk past all the time, we made a really, really big one. So we drew the shape we'd seen on some card, cut it out and then painted it. To paint it, we used little semi-circles so we could get a really nice texture and feeling of the lichen. Then we covered it in lots of facts all about lichen to try and show everyone just how amazing it is. Our second craft activity was making lichen using modelling clay, but we did it as slowly as we could, just like lichen does. Perhaps you could try a craft activity where you go slowly and see how slowly you can make something or you can draw something. Our final activity was just making a lichen twig. So we rolled up some paper and then we used pastels to colour in some paper with lichen or just using some coloured paper that we've cut out and then we cut those out and stuck them on our paper twig to make a little model of some lichen.
We hope you have as much fun looking for lichen as we did and finding out lots of amazing facts about it as well as doing some really fun crafts. We look forward to seeing you next week for more Exploring Nature with Children. I know I just said bye, but I just want to show you all this really cool lichen because it's so big on this gravestone and this gravestone must then be really old because it's taken such a long time to grow. And there are loads of different colours on this one as well, so it's fascinating. Um, and so I just wanted to show you that quickly because I'm still here wandering around looking at lichen. So I hope you enjoy looking at it just as much as I